Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers back again with another episode of the Tottenham Career Mode. Now, after being knocked out of the FA Cup and the Europa League in the past couple of episodes, we only have one sole focus left this season, and that is, of course, at the Barclays Premier League. As you can see, we're still within touching distance of the Champions League spots. One game in hand on Chelsea, three games in hand on Arsenal as we head into this one against West Bromwich Albion, who are a decent side that last year in real life in the Premier League, they had a fantastic season, uh, especially with having Romelu Lukaku on loan, he, he's having the same influence ever, and you might say this year, but they came close there with Amalfitano and uh, it's in the rain again, really really hard to play in the rain so far this year on uh, on FIFA 14, I really haven't got used to it, but uh, Chadley's going to have a decent effort here really should have put that one away, but Boaz Myhill makes a fantastic save down to his left hand side to keep us at bay, and as you can see there are still yet more early chances in this one. We're still inside the opening 15 minutes. They're going to whip the ball in. Nico Nelka is going to go up and that is just past our far post. Unlucky from Nico there. Obviously an extremely good player. Not really having the uh, the best of seasons in real life for West Brom so far. But how that lobbed or that free kick got all the way through to Nico, I have absolutely no idea. I was so petrified of the ball being squared across to uh, the waiting striker that I just didn't bother closing Nico down. And he took full advantage of that, popping the ball right into the top right hand corner. Really nice finesse finish goalkeeper absolutely no chance and we are right up against it as we head in towards half time but Guilfi Sigerson is going to draw another good save out of Boaz Myhill then we're actually going to get one more chance before the half is out they are uh, loose with possession Chadley picks it up plays in Sandra down this left hand channel going to try and find Chadley on the inside again it gets a turn inside the defender and I tried to place it across the bottom corner again Myhill gets down to make a great save and actually makes a second fantastic save the reaction save to hook the ball off the line which I think it was Andros Townsend coming in the far side I'm so so disappointed that he wasn't able to put that into the back of the net. Just didn't put enough power behind it and the goal gave the goalkeeper the chance to get back to it and that is exactly what he did. But uh, we went in at half-time 1-0 down and they almost made it too. Here we had to rely on Brad Friedel to make a fantastic one-on-one -on -one save against their striker to make sure that we were still in the game and had a chance of getting at least something out of it. I went for, uh, I went for a shot from distance there with Kapu, completely missed it, got out-muscled and uh, just gave a swing at nothing. But Townsend did have a swing at it but unfortunately was straight at the goalkeeper and we weren't really testing Boaz my hill as much as I might have liked obviously we had the couple of chances where I made some good saves but here Sandro finally breaks the deadlock we get through in the 64th minute pop the ball underneath the goalkeeper and I was hoping to push on and maybe try and pick up a winner here because we are in desperate need of points we don't want to let the two games we have in hand on uh, or the few games we have in hand or the teams above us get away from us but uh, again Boaz my hill makes a good save from Lewis Hobby they've got a good turn inside maybe could have played the ball through to the on rushing midfielder but unfortunately we weren't able to take a win from this one we do only pick up a solitary point but so we come into another game not too long after that one and we are away at Anfield it's a huge game Tottenham versus Liverpool is a massive game obviously both of us pushing for uh, for Champions League spots if we possibly can Liverpool still a little way behind five points behind us and uh, but they have a game in hand on a couple of teams above them as do we uh, still one game in hand on Chelsea two games in hand on Arsenal three points and four points behind them respectively and uh, we were going to get an early chance here uh, Christian Eriksen picking the ball up in the midfield going to really nice move actually to find the ball to Soldado lovely ball inside back to Eriksen and then Simon Minile makes another fantastic save we've been thwarted by goalkeepers so much in uh, the opening bit of this uh, of this particular episode my hill and then the Simon Minile putting on a similar display in the opening moments in this one but they were actually going to take the 1-0 lead it was Sturridge having this shot Suarez being an absolute wanker to Daniel Sturridge who clearly was going to go in and Sturridge would have wanted that goal no doubt but Luis Suarez gets on the end of it pops them 1-0 up and we're up against it in the early minutes and Suarez really should have made that too there fantastic effort putting it wide of that near side post and he really should have done better but we were actually going to get another chance ourselves Roberto Soldado is going to cut inside Colo Torre when he gets the ball here Tor Torre can't keep can't cope with the uh, the change in motion and it's a fantastic finish much like uh, Nico and Elkins in the previous game really nice turn inside and a finesse to the far top corner that is Roberto Soldado's 24th goal in all competitions I think it was there and uh, that is a fantastic way to get us back into the game and Alaba is tearing Martin Kelly a new one down this side Soldado gets a great header and unfortunately it comes back off the post we do beat Mignolet for a second time but it wasn't quite accurate enough to find that bottom corner and it stays at 1-1 one, one. we're coming up towards half time here Jordan Henderson with a snapshot from the edge of the box but fortunately for us it goes wide of the post yet again so we go in at half time at 1-1 and we are hoping to take three points from this like we were against West Brom but I was going to try and really hit top gear in this second half and that is exactly what we did Nani had a great shot we hit the post again but fortunately this time there is a man on hand and it's Roberto Saldari with his 25th goal of all competitions this season to put us two and up fortunately he was in the right place at the right time and fortunately he wasn't offside as well but Raheem Sterling gets sent through here shows great feet to get away from a few defenders 
defenders, but he really should have done better with the finish. Had that been Luis Suarez or Daniel Sturridge, that probably would have ended up in the back of the net. We were just fortunate that it ended up at the feet of a guy that doesn't really have the best finishing in the world. But Eric Lamella is going to show great strength to shrug off the uh, the attentions of the defender. But Simon Minile comes out, rushes out, narrows the angles. And uh, in hindsight, probably should have tried to lift it over him as opposed to trying to place it round him when, uh, when having that shot. But it was a good save. Uh, saved it with his legs, I think. Kind of hit his legs. But uh, Christian Eriksen is going to have the corner resulting from that. Up goes Yunus Gabal into the back of the net goes the ball and that is 3-1 and a convincing lead now we have in this game. Two goal advantage and against a team that have the uh, the strike power of Liverpool you really need a two goal advantage. Martin Kelly breaking down the right hand side. Luis Suarez on the hunt on the prowl in the six yard box but six yard box? It's on the six yard box but fortunately well, he says he was given offside. I'm really not too sure that it was offside, but I think Hugo Lloris had it covered nonetheless. But uh, we do pick up all three points from that one, and that is absolutely crucial because we were in desperate need of them, having dropped two points against West Brom. We had another game, again, just around the corner from the previous one. A lot of fixes in April, as we've uh, previously covered 10 games in total this month. And now uh, it's at home against a uh, fellow a London team at Fulham. Now, as you can see, we do still have that game in hand on Chelsea. Two games in Arsenal, again, still three points and four points. Uh, respectively. Chelsea and Arsenal still maintaining a 100% record or uh, whenever we win, they win, so to speak. So, uh, you know, we were definitely going to have to keep up a run of good results and keep picking up those points if you want to stand any chance of getting into those Champions League positions and closing that gap. And now it's Lewis Holtby breaking into the box here. The first shot is blocked, forced to Chadley, and unfortunately, it's not quite accurate enough. He fires it straight at the goalkeeper and Stekelenberg is going to prove to be my arch nemesis in this particular game. Andros Townsend is going to try to win the ball on the edge of the box after that corner was deflected out. Sandro with the whipped effort but is again straight as to Kellenberg not enough accuracy on it and uh, it stays at 0-0 but Chadley's going to have another chance here this time he does get it towards the corner but again to Kellenberg's on hand to make a good save and keep us at bay but we're going to have a corner Lewis Holtby coming into the team for this one looking for uh, the run of the man in the middle on the 6 yard box doesn't quite find him Sandro finds Moreno gets tackled falls back to Sandro and the shot is blocked and it's going to go out for another corner but unfortunately nothing really came of that one so we went in at half time level at 0-0 but you'll be able to see from the stats that are going to pop up on the screen in just a couple of moments time that we were completely on top in this one six shots five on target 57 percent possession they didn't even have a single shot on goal so of course as you can imagine just five minutes into the second half they're going to have that first shot on goal damon duff's going to find sasha rita down the right hand side rita returns the ball to duff shoves off the uh, the tackle from moreno squares the ball to, to Mattel berbatov and with their first chance of the game uh, they're actually going to take a 1-0 lead and that is a real stumbling block for us going forward into this game as you can see we're now into uh, the last 15 minutes and Martinez can't quite get his shot off he gets tackled there a last ditch tackle from the uh, from the defender to keep him from being able to get a decent shot on target but this time he is going to get a chance but it's not accurate again it's straight out the goalkeeper and that seems to be a theme at the minute but I'm making a change being on Guilfi Sigerson for Lewis Holby and you'll be able to see why I made that change we have a free kick on about 30 yards out Sigerson going for that top corner against the Kellenberg reaches absolute stretch of love to reach that and uh, unfortunately we're actually going to drop another three points against Fulham and as you can see that's going to cost us we're still uh, now three points behind Chelsea we've lost that game in hand on them and the gap to Arsenal is four points and we only have the one game in hand so that we've dropped we've dropped what five points in this episode I was really really disappointed are we in typical Spurs style absolutely bottling it at the end of the season we've still got five games left to try and pick up the 15 points available to try and push into those top four spaces we all have to wait and see how that goes but that is going to wrap up this particular episode guys so do feel free to leave the video a like if you did enjoy that would be superb if uh, you aren't subscribed to the channel feel free to do so there will be a link in the description and an annotation on screen over the subscribe button and if you missed the previous episode there is again a link on screen over the play button so that you can go and check that out there will of course be a link in the description as well to my twitter at chesnoy gaming if you feel like following me over there and uh, that is going to bring this one to a close so i'll see you tomorrow with another episode of the tottenham career mode